In today's agenda, at today's webinar, we will be talking about measuring the viewing angle performance of displays. We'll talk about why those displays need to be measured, some of the challenges unique to the manufacturers of LCD, OLED, and embedded displays in general. Then we'll share some of the measurements from these three types of displays, and we'll introduce how we took these measurements using Radiant Vision Systems Conoscope Lens. Before we wrap up the webinar, we'll talk a little bit about the capabilities and advantages of this product. So first, an introduction to Radiant Vision Systems, a Konica Minolta company. We are experts in light and color measurement using automated visual inspection systems, and we have a global footprint, so we're around the world and in your backyard. This webinar is focused on our new Conoscope lens. It is fast, accurate, low cost, and it does viewing angle performance measurement for displays. So first, for the purpose of this webinar, let's define viewing angle, and that's the angle at which a display can be viewed with acceptable performance. Why would we measure this? Because displays appear in more commonly used devices. It used to be that displays were in devices like televisions and telephones, where they were viewed mostly straight on, and the quality of the display impacts the perceived quality of those devices. The relative position of the device to the user is increasingly variable, and these displays, because they're viewed at multiple angles, we need to measure all of these angles. So where do we see these displays we measure? In televisions, in, uh, in televisions, tablets, PCs, smart devices, and we see them in a, in a variety of applications, automotive applications, aerospace, and in the head-mounted head -mounted micro displays uh, used in virtual reality or augmented reality. Some of the key things that you try to measure when measuring viewing angle would be luminance, because the brightness of the display should appear uniform to the human eye regardless of viewing position. Chromaticity, because the colors in the display should appear the same regardless of viewing position. And angular contrast, which includes both brightness and color of the display, because the display should be of sufficient legibility that the symbols and text are visible against the uh, background regardless of viewing position. So, some of the unique challenges in measuring viewing angle. What situations require a viewing angle measurement solution? Well, displays that may be viewed at any angle, such as embedded displays and wearables. OLED displays where color consistency is a concern. And liquid crystal displays where luminance consistency is a concern. So now we'll step through some of the examples from each of these different types of displays. In a liquid crystal display, we see the radar plot showing the luminance at 0, 0. And luminance is measured in candelas per meter squared. Typically, that is with measured with a colorimeter or, or a, a spot meter at uh, 0, 0, theta and phi. And we see that as we move out to theta of 60, um, that the luminance of the display drops off. Here's another way of looking at that. Uh, if we look at the cross section, we see that the measured luminance is 350 candelas, candelas per meter squared when viewed straight on, but it drops off to approximately 75 candelas per meter squared when viewed out at 60 degrees. In contrast to that, the chromaticity of an LCD display is pretty consistent over any viewing angle. With OLED displays, that's a very different story. What we're seeing on the left here are the radar plots of delta U prime V prime from, from three different devices from the same manufacturer. All of the devices are manufactured in the same plant, and we see from the cross sections that device one here in gray has much better consistent color with respect to viewing angle compared to the other devices. So what this means for an OLED manufacturer is that they need to uh, have some way of measuring viewing angle performance in the production line so that they can do binning on these devices as they're being manufactured. 
In the third example, let's look at embedded displays. So let's imagine we have a display in the center information console of a vehicle. It's a 40 degree viewing angle to the driver and approximately a 30 degree viewing angle to the passenger in this particular example. And if we put this particular display in front of them, what we would see is that the contrast of text for the driver is significantly lower compared to that of the contrast for the text when viewed from the passenger's point of view. So how do we perform these measurements? Here's a quick video showing Radiance Coniscope Lens. Uh, first, we'll start with the uh, colorimeter. Um, preparing, uh, having just finished doing a two-dimensional standard measurement with a standard 100 millimeter, millimeter lens. So we'll remove that, put the coniscope lens on. We'll flip the colorimeter over and add the mounting bracket. We'll clamp that into place, um, and then once we put it up on the mount, uh, up on the uh, measurement platform, we'll also perform a quick calibration, uh, which is all done in software, um, to ensure that the software recognizes the lens properly. So now we're using a three millimeter alignment card to ensure that to ensure that the device under test is uh, the precise measurement distance away from the end of the coniscope lens. and I'm taking a measurement. There it is, updated. So that's the luminance of the uh, white display, and then I'm adding a privacy screen and taking another measurement. And we can see more of these measurements on the next slide. So this is a uh, standard monitor, angular distribution results with the, with the monitor showing a white bitmap, then red, then green, and then blue. And as we can see, the coniscope results are pretty consistent with respect to all four of those colors. When we add the privacy screen, the luminance drops off, as you would expect, out at larger angles, greater than 30 degrees, for example. So how do we perform those measurements? Well, we use Radiance Coniscope Lens, which, as we mentioned, is a fast, accurate, low-cost viewing angle performance measurement solution. What is this coniscope? Well, it transforms the directional distribution of light, so we're measuring luminance and color emanating from a single point of the display and mapping that into the CCD. And we can see that better on the next slide, where all of the light coming from the display at zero degrees is being mapped into this region of the uh, CCD imaging plane. 30 degrees, different, different location on the CCD, and 60 degrees, yet another different location on the CCD. So this uses Fourier optics. Um, some of the top viewing angle concerns for manufacturers of displays are how to get precision viewing angle data relative to human perception, how to get that measurement accuracy repeatable, the speed of the measurement process, can you, is it fast enough to include it in production, um, having a cost and complexity of the measurement equipment that, is, again, is useful in production, and then applying that benchmark data from R&D to assess the quality of your displays in production. And we'll address, address each of these in turn. A coniscope lens addresses the precision, thank you, uh, addresses the precision, uh, addresses the viewing angle data and human perception um, by pairing with a colorimeter with CIE mesh color filters and a scientific grade CCD. With a standard 16 megapixel colorimeter, that camera can be used with a standard lens for performing detailed light and color measurements, uniformity measurements, and pixel level defect inspection. Pairing with a coniscope lens, you can simultaneously measure all angles out to 60 degrees 
with an angular resolution of 0 0.06 degrees per CCD pixel. How to get the repeatability of measurement accuracy? Well, instead of using a conoscope, you could use a robot or you could use multiple spot colorimeters or some multiple uh, uh, two-dimensional measurement devices. Um, or you could move the detector relative to display. Or you could use a colorimeter and alleviate all of those problems because there's no movement between those two devices between the measurement device and the DUT. How do you get measurements quickly? Using a conoscope lens, you can measure the illuminance data from multiple viewing angles with a single measurement. There's no need to rotate the detector or the display. There's no need to take measurements from multiple angles. And the conoscope lens is an easy add-on to existing radiant vision solution systems cameras. If you're concerned about cost and complexity, the Conoscope is a single camera, single lens solution. It's compact and turnkey form factor. It can be easily integrated into labs and production lines with minimal setup and configuration. And it's portable from lab to line, so you can use the same setup in your R&D environment as you would use out in production. That allows you to address the final concern, which is to have the same Conoscope lens system in the lab and on the production line to capture data that have identical measurement data. So you can characterize displays for engineering and development, use that R&D data as a benchmark during production for your quality control, and you can easily transition data files saved uh, throughout the process using our common software. And you can also swap the conoscope lens with other lenses to utilize photometer and colorimeter measure, to utilize the photometer and the colorimeter for other light and color measurements. So to sum up, the conoscope solution from Radiant Vision Systems consists of a conoscope lens coupled with Radiant standard photometer or colorimeter. The conoscope lens is specifically designed to capture viewing angle performance of displays out to an angle of 60 degrees. And then you can use the conoscope to perform viewing angle measurements, the conoscope is mounted on the photometer or colorimeter. And if you want to remove it to perform other two-dimensional measurements, you can do that and utilize a full selection of standard radiant lenses. The same Prometric or TrueTest software tools are available to you in either case. In summary, the ability to clearly view displays from multiple angles is critical to operating devices with increasingly variable position relative to the user. These new display technologies demand greater control over viewing angle performance. A conoscope lens instantly captures light and color from all viewing angles of a display in one single measurement without moving the camera or the device. Radiant Vision Systems conoscope lens offers the advantages of speed, size, and software that's very well suited to production lines. When paired with an imaging photometer or colorimeter, the conoscope lens is a fast, accurate, and cost-effective viewing angle measurement solution. Thank you.